first impression is really positive. Officers have been really friendly, really open, really willing to work with the new administration. We've pitched up at the town hall and they have shown us where the kettle is and they've made us feel really, really welcome. It's been really positive. Met a lot of new people talking about a 100 day plan, talking to lots of people in the communities, lots of good wishes from them and they really want to see us get to work. As I said, we've got our 100 day plan and the first things there are the big listening campaign and the big clean up campaign. And they're really important to us because we are committed to continuing to listen to our communities, which we have done for the past five years in opposition. And we really want to make sure that the ideas we put in our manifesto and the ideas that we're going to deliver against are the ones that the communities understand and the ones that they want to make this town beautiful and sustainable and green. To achieve those priorities, we are going to very much focus on rebuilding the relationship between council and communities. We feel it's very important that our council is there to listen to the communities and to work alongside the communities. We're a really collaborative council. We want to work closely with all our residents. So we will be leading uh, a great team of council officers, uh, but we will also be working very much alongside our communities. So declaring cost of living emergency in Worthing is now unfortunately of the utmost priority. Um, we know from being ward councillors and speaking to our residents that increasing numbers of people are struggling to find the money to pay their rent, to heat their houses or to feed themselves and their families. So as a council we are committed to putting a plan behind this declaration and that will make sure we can work effectively and efficiently with all the voluntary organisations and third sector organisations who are already doing so much great work out there. We're also going to look as quickly as we can at accommodation issues. Social housing, as I've said before, is an an increasing priority. It's an absolute emergency in this town so we need to make sure that affordable housing is coming online as quickly as possible for people. It's going to be a really difficult winter. Nobody's under any illusions about that but as a council we need to be as prepared as possible to work with all those people that we're able to and to do the very best that we can for those people who are going to find it difficult as we come into the colder months. Whenever we talk about key sites in our borough, immediately people start talking to me about Hevelgate, Gate and there's also Union Place, which is fast coming up as somewhere that we really need to do something about. It is a priority for us in the sense that the whole of the town centre needs a good, green, sustainable community approach. So Tevelgate and Union Place now need to be part of that story. So the story of a green Worthing, the story of a safe, community-friendly space for Worthing, the story of affordable social housing for Worthing, the story of sustainable, active transport, so it's easier for people to get out of cars and there's affordable public transport for them to go to. So Tevelgate and Union Place are both now being prioritised as areas that we can really use to tell a good story about Worthing. We're looking for partners that will help us to do that and we're looking for great, innovative, imaginative design that will really showcase the best of what we have in our town. So my message to the people of Worthing a week after starting this job is one, thank you so much for giving me this job. It's an incredible privilege. Myself and my team are incredibly proud and excited to be able to do this job for you. And our message to you is that we are listening. The town hall doors are open and we're ready to work with you and for you.